Hey everyone, so you might be wondering, during a pandemic, can you get a really great deal on a house? Well, stay tuned. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about if there are deals in the marketplace during the pandemic. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Klaus Corner. This week we are talking about, are there deals in the Seattle market during the pandemic? Now, I'm not going to speak about nationwide because the Seattle market is a little bit different um, than other areas in our country just because we do have a lot of really strong tech industries in the city. But a lot of people are kind of wondering what sort of deals can I get during this pandemic? Well, first and foremost, um, there are some sellers who are in need of selling and do need to sell quickly. Um, and so those are the most likely people or homes that you will find discounted prices on. But what is a discounted price? To me, what I'm seeing is possibly anywhere between one to 5% below the list price, but I'm not really seeing deep, large discounts of 10 to 20%. Now, if a home has been sitting on the market for a long time, let's say for the past four months, even before the pandemic started, you would be getting a deal on that probably either way, whether or not we're in a shutdown or not, because it's been on the market for quite a long time and you have more negotiating room to make an offer on that property. But for things that are just being listed, sellers are still holding to their prices quite a bit. Um, it's not like they are reducing their prices very drastically every week, unless they're really in a hurry to try to get the home sold and they need that money right away. What I am seeing a lot of is that buyers can make offers on homes that have been listed two, three, four weeks and ask for some closing costs to be covered or some credit at closing. Um, or they can ask for a slight discount on the purchase price. Now that is not to say that they're getting 10 to 20% off the list price. It's to say they're getting more between one and 5% back either in closing costs or in a little bit of a discount on the list price. So right now I just did the market report for Seattle and King County and there are about 220 homes that have had price reductions, but there are 585 new listings. So those price reductions are not the same as the new listing. And so you can assume the price reductions are a pretty small portion of uh, listings that are currently on the market. Now, if something does sit because it was overpriced, then you'll see sellers also make price reductions on those homes. So it is possible that homes are and values are going to flatline a little bit, but for those people looking for a really screaming deal, in Seattle, the deal that you're getting is really that you're not competing against as many buyers as you would before. So during the pandemic, there have been a lot of buyers who have taken a step back and are deciding to wait and see what happens with the market and the economy. And that means less competition for some of the buyers that are currently out there and who do wanna make offers. But that doesn't necessarily mean that prices are going below the list price. There are still homes that are selling for the list price or above the list price with multiple offers. And again, it's the same story as before the pandemic. If a home is priced really competitively and also marketed very well, meaning they're staging great photography, video, virtual tours, then it's more than likely going to get multiple offers. So keep that in mind as you're thinking about if you can get a deal during the pandemic. There are some variances in what sellers are doing and there are some prices coming down. It also depends on what price point you're searching in. So if you have any questions about what's happening in the price or the market neighborhood that you're looking in, don't hesitate to reach out. We can always help you do a market analysis of what's going on. You can call, text, email, or DM, and we hope you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get more videos like this and stay up to date on the Seattle real estate market. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week.